can stay here I sleep to how you're moving I can't stay here Complacent anymore I can't stay Good morning Good morning And win today Pass is my name I meet you once again in my usual place um, in the beautiful mountains in southern Africa. Without much ado, I want to take you through one or two scriptures. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah 29. I know you know the scripture that I want to talk about. But that is just the introduction. Jeremiah 29, uh, I'll start from verse 11, which is your popular scripture. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Let me go to my proof text. Verse 12. Then you call upon me and go and pray to me and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Praise God. That is my proof text. Then you call upon me and go and pray and seek me with all your heart with all your heart our heart the prayer room our heart where God stays the book of Romans chapter 9 our heart is the communication point our heart our heart remember in the book of John 1423 if you love me you love the words that I speak and my father and I will come and make home in your heart our heart I'm on verse 11 eh? on Jeremiah 29 11 the Lord says I have plans for you to prosper you plans which are good that's what the lord says but on verse 12 the lord tells us what we should do he says call upon me and pray and seek me with all your heart that is our duty that is what we need to do that verse 11 is not a blank check for us it's not a blank check. We have a role to play. Our role is to call upon his name. What God wants us to do is to ask him for everything. Is to seek his face for everything. Even the things which are ordinary in our eyes. We should ask him and glorify his name so that we are not proud so that we will not say I have done it by my own effort or I did it by my own effort God wants us to call his name to ask him to pray fervently for small things and big things and you will give us he is willing to give us. Take note, his plans are to prosper us. He is willing to give us, but he wants us to pray, to kneel down and ask. And we must do so with our heart. Take it, it's, it's clear there. Verse 12. Then you call upon me and go and pray to me and I will listen to you. 
even the things which we think he can give us he wants us to ask to pray and you take us from our captivity take note in that book of numbers chapter 20 verse 8 when the children of Israel cried to Moses because of thirst, hunger, the Lord told Moses, take your staff, go and speak to the rock. Take note. Go and speak to the rock. The rock signifying our Lord Jesus Christ, the rock of ages. Go and speak to the rock, and water shall come forth. The Lord wants us to ask, go and speak to the rock. So says the Lord to Moses. Meaning, God was able to provide water to the children of Israel easily because they were thirsty. But he wanted us to ask first. They were thirsty and he knew and he saw it. Water could have easily gushed from the stone. But he wants us to ask. My people, he wants us to pray first to Jesus. Go and speak to the rock. Go and pray. Go and ask. And you shall receive. This is what God wants us to do all the time in small things and big things so this is it that's the title of my message god wants us to call his name all the time god wants us to call his name all the time that's what god wants us to do in small and in big he doesn't he doesn't want us to just receive without calling him call unto me and i will answer you that book of matthew chapter 7 ask and you shall receive ask and you shall receive he wants us to speak to him to pray to him in small things so that we glorify his name all the time he is willing to give us all what we ask for as long we do not ask amiss, as long we do not ask wrongly, I pray your faith will not fail as you hear this message in Jesus' name.